This is the second part of the network sniffer tutorial. We have uh, written our receive data function and now we can get rid of this um, one more receiving and um, actually we want to call here our function with, um, with a parameter the socket, the raw socket that we have created. And what we want to do right now is to actually um, unpack all these information. So what I suggest is uh, going to Google and typing Python struct module. And here you can see that we have uh, this function as pack and unpack and the strings can be packed and unpacked according to a special format. So, first of all, what we'll be doing is importing this module, import struct, and after that we want to get our unpacked data, and we call this unpack. First of all, we'll have here a format. I will type it, and then I will explain what does this, what do these characters mean, actually. So, we have it like that. And uh, we want actually only the first 20 bytes because this is where our mm, header is located and because after that we have payload. So we type we data and slice it until the uh, length 20. So what does this all mean? So here you can actually see and read the, um, what each character means when we form this format. So first mm, the exclamation mark means that it's a network and then here, here we have like B, this is an assigned character and it has uh, the standard size 1 and for the unsigned short it's size 2 and for the character we already did, for a string we indicated explicitly that, that, that it is 4. So why have we been using like B, B, H, H and so on? Because the B will unpack this part, like the version and the internet header length. Then the next B, the next 8 bits. So we have 8 bits and then 8 bits and then we have B, B and H actually means that we have, like we have seen that it's 2 bytes. So this means that it's 16 bits. So that's how you can actually um, unpack the information. So let's see how does it look like. Like let's print the unpacked data and run it right here. And here we get it. We get uh, also a tuple but it has a different form already. Um, it's not quite clear what the 69 means or 48 and so on and so forth but basically we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 10 elements in our tuple and basically these are the 10 that we have here all of them until the destination IP address so the first, this 69 actually indicates like this this 8 bits, the version and the internet header length so, um, let's see what we can do. So, we know that in the first, um, in the first element from our tuple, this is our version and the internet header length. So, we can extract them like that. But, we can see that the version gets only the four uh, is located in the first four bits and the header length is in the other four bits. So what we can do here, like we can extract the version, let's type version, let's create a variable version and let's use this uh, version and the internet header length and shift it four times to the right which means that we will shift it four, four times to the right and we will get like just this data and all the other ones like the first four will be just zeros 
and that's how we can actually um, get it from there mm, you can see that if we will print the version we'll get 4 which is IP version 4 the one used uh, most often and we need to somehow get the internet header length in order to get it we can actually uh, end it with um, with with uh, once the first so we'll have like let me show you an example for instance we have uh, if we have four there then it's um, zero one zero 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 one yes like that and then we have like for instance one zero one zero and we will end it with um, zero 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 and one 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 which means that when we'll end it we'll get just the first uh, the last four bits and the other ones in front will be all zero so we'll get it like that that's what we want to do and that's why we'll write that internet header length equals to the same version uh, and internet header length and end it with um, 0xf this is the hexadecimal uh, notation for these bits that we have written here for here exactly mm. Let's see what we have further. We have like this differentiated services. We have like this um, what this field actually indicates, and also that it um, indicates the type of service. And it's eight bits long. And we can see that the first three will show us the precedence and what each one of this actually means. And then we have like this. Um, minimize delay, the mm, through output, the reliability, the monetary, the mm, monetary cost, yeah. And what we can do right now, we'll write a function that will get us mm, this type of service. So let's write a um, comment that it is get the time of service and it it's eight bits long. So the toss will receive as a parameter the data. And first of all what we want to do is we want to write a dictionary that will contain like all this that zero is a routine, one is a priority and so on and so forth. So this is our precedence. 0 is the routine, 1 is the... looks pretty nice. We will also want to include in the dictionary this, uh, these bits like minimize delay or with the reliability bit or the full output through put bit. So that's why Let's create a dictionary with the um, delay. Zero mean. Actually, right now we can see that we can get the precedence data pretty easily just by shifting it five times to the right. We'll use shifting and ending in order to extract these bits, but we will do this in the next part. So 